Hey, what's up? I'm Dylan from Stupid Raisins, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add frames in Final Cut Pro. Frames are a great way to highlight your video, and they're really easy to do. I'll show you how. In this video, I'll show you how to use generators and shapes to make frames in your video. Next, I'll show you how to use the built-in titles to add frames around your clips. I'll also show you a way to add custom frames using images. And at the end, I'll show you three different built-in frame effects you can use to add frames on your videos. In Final Cut Pro, go to your Titles and Generators browser and scroll down to the bottom, Generators, select Textures, and then drag and drop one of these. I like the stone and I'm gonna put it below my clip that I have in my timeline. Well, I can't see it, where's my frame? Select the top clip, go to the video inspector, and set your scale to 85%. Now I can see this generator as a frame around my video. However, you probably don't want to change your video size, so let's reset that. And now put the generator above it. Okay, we can see that, but now we can't see the video. That's easy, let's add a mask. Go to the effects browser, down to the mask section, and shape mask. Drag and drop that onto your generator. All right, now we can see the edge, but we don't want that, we want it reversed. So select the generator, go to the video inspector, and under effects, look for shape mask and then check the box invert mask. Now we've got a little bit of a frame. Let's tweak this. These on-screen controls are great for quick, fast changes. Of course, you can fine tune it over here if you want. I'm gonna turn that curvature down. Now we have a nice looking frame over our video without changing the video size. What if we want a shape besides a circle or a square or a rectangle? Go to the elements generators and drag and drop a shapes generator onto your clip. Go to the published parameters and change it from circle to diamond. Turn off the outline and turn off the drop shadow. Go to the video inspector and make it a little bit bigger. Let's go 125%. Now on your clip, go to masks and drag and drop image mask from the effects browser onto your clip. In the video inspector under effects, click on this source clip well, and then select, hover over the generator and click. Now press apply clip. Select the generator and turn it off. And now we have this cool looking tri or this cool looking diamond on our clip, but we want to add a frame to it as well. So bring it below the clip, enable it, and we've got a frame around our video clip. Here's what it looks like. Of course, we can change the color of that frame too by selecting the generator and using the color picker here. Pause game. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and click that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks. Final Cut has some great titles built in that you can use to add frames to your pictures and your video in your timeline. Go to the titles, go to bumper opener. Scroll down till you see film strip. Drag and drop this on top of your clip and you immediately have your picture framed in a cool way. If you select the title and go to the title inspector, you'll see some options you can change here. And with this one, of course, you can change the text. Delete that title and go to credits. Drag and drop one of these comic books on top of your title. And just like that, we have a comic book style frame on our video. Another way to add a frame is to use a transparent image. Go to Google and search picture frame. Go to the images, click on tools, and then select color and select transparent. These are all images that are transparent. Find a frame you like, right click on it, select open image in new tab, double check it, right click on it, and select save image as, 
and click Save. Now drag and drop that file onto your timeline. All right, because this is a transparent PNG, we see through it to the video behind us. But this looks a little weird, right? With the sides showing. So select the video clip and underneath crop, adjust these until they don't show on the left and right anymore. And now we've got that masterpiece framed. Final Cut has some frame effects built in that are really easy to use. Under the effects browser and the category stylize, you'll find photo recall. Drag and drop it onto your clip. Here's what it looks like out of the box. Now we can tweak this. We can move this box around if we want off to the side. Go to the video inspector and we can change the look with these published parameters. Amount controls how much of the frame we see. This is cool because we can animate this. Let's try it. Let's go to the beginning, set it at zero, add a keyframe. Let's go in about a second and then set a new keyframe with the slider. We can also change the style from classic to an instant Polaroids type. We can also turn down or up the amount of blur on the background image. I like it right at 50. We can use the separation slider to really make the framed part pop. The center controls do the same thing that this on-screen control will do. Move it around. We can also change the size of the frame. Under stylize, there's another one called frame effect. Drag and drop it onto your clip and immediately, and immediately we have this 35 millimeter frame style. Select the clip, go to the video inspector, and we have a couple parameters we can change. Choose the slider amount to decide how much of the frame you see. You can also change the type. We've got this black Mac frame, this torn page, we've got different colors. There's a lot to play with here. I'm going to go back to 35 millimeter. I like that style. And now, with this amount, we could keyframe this effect. Go back to the beginning and set amount to zero. Add a keyframe and go in about one second and set the amount to 100. And just like that, we've got an animated frame on our video. Next, drag and drop the simple border effect onto your clip. You can see it adds a real simple border or a simple frame instantly. If we select the clip, we can go to the video inspector and see some things we can change. We can change the size of it with the width. We can change the color of it as well. And we can change the mix, how much we see. It's pretty much the opacity of the frame. So let's make it a little bit thicker. And let's try a different color. I like that blue. Let's animate this simple frame in. Go to the beginning of the clip and set width to zero. Add a keyframe and go forward in time about a second in the timeline and change width to about 50. And just like that, we have a nice, simple animated frame on our video. Now that you know how to add frames to Final Cut Pro, I want to show you how to add text to Final Cut Pro videos. I made another video called How to Add Text to Final Cut Pro Video. Go ahead, click here to watch.